I've, I've avoided it for as long as I can, but my, my time's up. And I am so, so sorry for this. When comedians be like, they were so fat that they're that standing sweat fat. Crisco was coming out of their pores like a fucking Play-Doh fun factory. <laughs> Nicole Arbor. Someone's being a bit loose with the word comedian. Sisters off the charts. I replaced her pepper spray with silly string. <laughs> anyway, that night she got raped. Let me guess, Lacey, you didn't like that joke. <laughs> Called it. <laughs> All right, well, fuck whatever that was. Oh, hi, babes. And fuck whatever that was. Let's talk about jokes. When I first started speaking up about rape jokes when I was in high school... I can tell you weren't a popular girl in high school, Lacey. At least you wouldn't have been if it weren't for those massive tits. A bunch of my friends were like, Oh my god, Lacey, it's just a joke. Don't, just, just don't do that again. It's just a joke. Oh, for fuck's sake, how do you have 1.4 million subscribers? Actual people? What the fuck? The it's a joke line was just a way to make me shut up when I criticized them. What? There is no grand conspiracy against you, Lacey, you tinfoil twat. They genuinely are just jokes. As Nicole Arbor learned last week, being cruel and then calling it humor doesn't make it any less cruel. Yeah, but Nicole Arbor isn't very funny, so that's just not a fair experiment. A pile of shit with a bow on it is still a pile of shit. Well, my sentiments exactly. Kind of what I was saying just then, actually, except in this case, the pile of shit doesn't even have a bow on it. The most basic tenet of comedy. Whoa, 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 I know Lacey Green is not about to give us a lecture on the fundamentals of comedy. Fucking hell, first Anita Sarkeesian speaks at the UN, and now this. Is that it's supposed to make us laugh, right? Yes, Lacey. Yes, it is. Let's see how you do with that now. A good joke can be clever, smart, uncomfortable, weird, biting, goofy, obnoxious, and yes, even offensive. There you go, everyone. Lacey Green's idea of comedy. Kind of makes you wish the world did end in 2012, doesn't it? Hitting the funny bone is a skill, and it isn't easy. But you know what is easy? Joe Mama. I'm as high as hell, and you're about to get shot. Being an asshole. Nailed it. Humor is a type of communication. So is Twitter, and you're not funny on that either. All humor has an underlying message, and that message, whether or not we consciously process it, is the reason why we're laughing. I don't know. Fat people falling over always does it for me. I don't see any underlying message there, unless it's physics. Things like rape jokes, fat jokes, police brutality jokes that come at the victim's expense, that's a key. And they are all fucking hilarious. Even if you're making a fat joke to a fat person. Shit, I've known people who take the piss out of themselves for being black, fat, disabled, trans, gay, raped, and even being ginger. And they're all hilarious. Normalize inequalities that already exist in the world. Hell yeah, normalize them. Normalize the shit out of them. If we can laugh at our differences, then we've already overcome them, you fat-titted cunt. People with less power are seen as acceptable targets for cruelty. The same goes for pretty much everything, though. If anything, jokes are the least harmful things that can happen to someone less powerful. So, you know, dream bigger, Lacey. When we laugh at someone suffering, we're- There's no chance you're about to say we have a good time, is there? Participating in a broader cultural phenomenon. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay. We don't take those injustices seriously. And then we have a good time. But nothing should be off limits, the comedian cry. Fucking hell, that was horrible. Three Lacey Greens. I'm just glad it was over before I finished tying the noose. I am an American, and I have freedom of speech. I'm not American, but still, fuck you all the same. I totally agree. See, I say all manner of offensive shit to the mainstream. Lacey, your face is offensive. Whatever comes out of your mouth is nothing. I'm out here, y'all. Criticism doesn't mean that the subject matter is a problem. It's not necessarily the topic. Generally, it means the person criticizing is a thin-skinned fun sponge. It's the approach. If the approach isn't funny, then critics also have free speech to say what they think. That's very true. And I don't know if you've noticed, but you're not very funny. Just like most critics. Well, but I'm critiquing your video. Oh, shit. Just like any other form of entertainment, comedy does not have some special sacred immunity to criticism. Oh, that was far too close to your face, love.
While Daniel Tosh might think that rape is absolutely hilarious, and I think that actual rape is funnier than you. Many of us come to comedy to have a good time. Please don't say you mean you when you say us, because comedy won't have you, Lacey. No one will have you. Fuck, even Islam won't have you. We could have you all tied up and ready to go. They'll still be like, nah, you're alright, mate. Not for us. Well, tell them, you can stick a burqa on her. You won't even know she's there. No, not for us, mate. No, thank you. No one will have you, Lacey. Not to be reminded that other people see us as less than human. Referring to yourself as human is worse than calling Nicole Arbour a comedian. This bigger comedy debate isn't about constitutional rights, which are robust. Well, generally robust. Yeah, again, I'm English, so fuck your constitution. It's morally right, which is not as robust. And also, not up to you. Tits! What we choose to say and do with our platforms, with the stage, with the mic, with the YouTube channel, with the Twitter account, with the TV show. With the unnecessary lists. That speaks volumes about our character. We can punch up at abuses of power, or we can continue to punch at those who are already down. Well, that depends on your audience. For instance, I wouldn't dare tell a joke that's not about sex to a group of blokes on a stag do any more than I'd tell a joke about bumming to a group of four-year-olds. So how do you know which direction something's punching? Just go with the flow, baby. Or you can wait until someone says something stupid, which is what I'm doing now. Pretty simple. Just ask, who finds this funny? Lacey, if you have to ask, I can now genuinely believe you have never heard another human being laugh. Jokes by no means need to be universal, but who's in the group that's laughing? Are abusers, date rapists, the KKK, high school bullies laughing with me? <laughs> Well, if they've got a sense of humor, why the fuck not? Who is being validated by the message that I'm communicating? I want to end by saying that it is okay to tell an off-color joke. A part of me wants to think she was hinting at a race joke by saying off-color, but judging from what we've seen, no. We're all learning. I've told mess-up jokes, you told mess-up jokes. Ah, good. You've seen my channel. Now I can stop sending you tweets. We're all idiot humans! Lacey, what have I told you about referring to yourself as human? I don't think we need to handle this by burning people at the stake. That's so 1500s. Which I think we would all prefer instead of another joke like that. I think the key is to recognize and apologize. Don't let your ego get in the way. There or crack another racist joke until they find it funny. There are some amazing comedians in our YouTube community and in the world. No way. The world? I live there. They're making us laugh. They're giving us a place to run away from all the bullshit. I would like one of those places, please. Right now, please. And some of them are even changing the world, which is like really sexy to me. It just got really warm in here. No then open a window, Lacey. And I'm not suggesting you should jump out of it, but maybe see how far you can lean. Not everyone needs to reach that pinnacle of perfection and change the world with their comedy, but at the very least, we can be good to each other. Oh, fuck it. Jump out the window, Lacey. There, I said it. All right? I fucking said it. Thanks for watching, guys, and remember, your joke isn't racist if a black guy laughs.